in this lecture i am going to explain what is super heterodyne receiver why it is used okay so first of all we must understand basically we need to transmit our signals right but what happens is at high frequency okay processing cost of circuit is so high so we should do signal processing at low frequency right so we need to convert our high frequency signal to low frequency signal okay but now when we do the low frequency at low frequency transmission cost of signal is high so signal transmission should be done at high frequency right so there are two things like i explained okay so i must just circle green so there are two frequencies high frequency and low frequency and there are two thing the first thing is signal processing okay and the another thing is signal transmission always remember when we are doing signal processing we must do at low frequency when we are doing signal transmission we must do at high frequency so i have blocked it here signal processing low frequency signal transmission high frequency signal processing what does that mean basically all the processing of the signal okay signal transmission that means when we are transmitting a signal from a sender to a receiver so these are the two things and for this purpose we are using the super heterodyne receiver so in your syllabus there is not much detail for super heterodyne receiver only i'm going to discuss the block diagram and the and the description of the blocks what we use in the super heterodyne receiver okay so so note down block diagram of super heterodyne receiver so the first thing is obviously if it is a receiver then it is it is receiving some signal okay so so i am making an antenna here so let us say let us say this is rf frequency high frequency signal it is receiving and this is basically your antenna okay this is your antenna and this is receiving high frequency signal okay now the first block the first block will be so the first block will be rf amplifier okay what is the description of rf amplifier basically what what happens is we are receiving the rf signal okay and we will be and whatever signal we are receiving has has the maximum noise right so we need to avoid this noise and why we need to avoid this noise because if we avoid this noise at the first block okay that means the minimum noise is transferred to the rest of the circuit do you understand that so basically our rf amplifier contains an lna what is this lna lna is low noise amplifier okay that means it will minimize all the noise okay i will write all the description now later first i am just explaining you the block diagram now the second thing now the second block is the mixer or detector i can say this is mixer or first detector why i have said first detector because i am going to use the second detector as well okay now mixer means it is adding or subtracting two or more frequencies okay now the first frequency is from this one 
this is f r f that means the frequency we are getting from the rf amplifier frequency rf the second frequency the second frequency you will be getting from a another block which i can say it is a local oscillator okay the second frequency you are getting from it and this second frequency is let us say this is f l o that means the frequency generated from the local oscillator okay now what will happen sorry i must use the black pen yes so what will happen i am sending the mixer of these frequencies to an amplifier which is name is if amplifier if amplifier means intermediate frequency okay and that we need to amplify it okay so now what will happen at this point i am showing it with the red at this point what frequency i am getting at this point i am getting two frequencies the first frequency is frf plus flo and frf minus f l o okay these are the two frequency i am getting because i have passed these two signal f r f and f l o through the mixer okay so i am getting two the addition and the subtraction okay but because we need to we need to convert high frequency to low frequency why we need to convert high frequency to low frequency because we need to do all the signal processing which we, which is done at low frequency so we will not consider we will not consider the addition parameter we will consider only the subtraction parameter okay now when this subtraction parameter will be passed through if amplifier it is amplified and it will be gone to another block which is your mixer or i can say second detector okay this is another block and on this point only one frequency will be transferred what is that frequency f i f the frequency what we getting from the if amplifier okay and then again this frequency will be transferred to the detector and then the last block the last block will be your power amplifier okay and then this will transmit through the speaker okay and this you can say this is your message signal so basically what happens is we have used the low frequency to to do all the signal processing but what happens is all the frequencies getting amplified to the high frequency okay so this is the block diagram of the super heterodyne receiver how many blocks i have used rf amplifier the first block second block is mixer third is if amplifier fourth is mixer and fifth is power amplifier okay so i'm just writing a brief description of the blocks so the first one is rf amplifier block okay i explained to you what is rf amplifier block basically it contains it contains lna and what is lna low noise amplifier okay this is the first point second point why it is used because whatever signal whatever rf signal we are receiving has a maximum noise right 
it has a maximum noise right we need to avoid or reduce noise at the first block so that minimum noise is transferred to the rest of the circuit okay so that's why we use the rf amplifier and then the mixer or detector the second block mixer or first detector so in this mixer or first detector what happens is there are two signal the first is frf signal from rf amplifier and there is f you can see the flo local oscillator is generating this signal okay so there are two signals and what happens if they pass through the mixer if they pass through the mixer then what happens there will be two components addition components and subtraction components so what we are using we need we are using the subtraction component because we need to process our signal and process our signal on the low frequency so we will use it and this signal will pass through the if amplifier okay so our third is if amplifier what does it do it will it will amplify amplify our f amplify the signal received from mixer or first detector okay and if means basically intermediate frequency okay and this signal is known as f i f and this signal will go to the second detector and then the power amplifier okay so this is the description of all the boxes here and then the the signal after power amplifier will goes to the speaker so it's only the work the block diagram of super heterodyne hetero, receiver and why it is used is only in your syllabus i hope you understand that